Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day. Uh, so I was really hoping some of my mystery boxes slash uh, advent calendars would be here by now, but they're not. So I needed another idea for today's video. And I've been toying with this idea for a while. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. So I would just completely winged it today. Uh, basically, I have this bag. And in this bag is a full face, except a couple of things, of makeup. Well, what I did is I went down to my local IGA and I was like, I know they've got some makeup. I'll see if they've got enough to do a full face. They did not. <laughs> um, so I bought what I could. And then I was like, well, it's only three things. I can't really do a video on three products. So I nipped to the closest, like next closest big town. And I went to Red Dot because... It was sort of a hit two birds with one stone. I wanted to try and finish the full face video idea and I wanted to buy a fascinator as tomorrow's Melbourne Cup. So I thought I'd show you my little fascinator. Let me just grab it out of the box. I want to have a... I haven't even put it out of the box yet. Oh, oh. Ha ha. There we go. Oh my God, it's huge. There we go. I like it. <laughs> um, no, I would not be wearing that for the whole video. I just wanted to show you. Um, so, in my little bag, uh, there's only one product that I won't be using, and it's this. This is a Revlon nail polish. Does it have a shade name? Um, it says it's, oh, this is in galactic pink to me. That's um, more of like a purpley pink, but I really like the color, so I thought I'd buy it. Impulse buy. Um, right, makeup. Let me pull everything out. I've already taken everything out of the packaging to make this video a bit easier. Um, what couldn't I find? I couldn't find a concealer. A pr I didn't even look for a primer because I've got so many. Um, and I couldn't get like a um, like a bronzer or contour sort of thing. But I think I've got something that will that will work. Right. So first, foundation. I will give you a little bit of a like a price and where I got them from and you know all of that sort of thing. So the foundation I got is this one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. It's in the shade Ivory. They only had two shades. There was Ivory and like Warm Beige or something. So I thought Ivory is a bit lighter. I'm going to go for that. Um, it cost me $29.90 and I got this at IGA. And I don't know, I, I wish I'd actually saved the packaging from this because it just looks like old. It's a pory bottle too. Right, let me, let me, I don't like pory bottles. Um, how am I going to do this? What I might do is just, no, that didn't really work. Just put a little bit on my sponge because I don't really want to put it on the back of my hand and just dot this all over my face I don't think oh no it might actually match my neck that'd be nice okay also I hope the music isn't too loud it's actually closer to my phone today so I need to clip my hair back so organized I know right let's try and do this shall we I'm using my um it's a Game of Thrones Revolution Collection Collab uh, Beauty Blender today. I've been using it for a little while because my other Beauty Blender, I don't know, it looks like it has mould on it. It was in the bathroom for ages, so I think it's got mould on it, but I could be wrong. Why can I hear like a car or something outside? Someone better not be coming over. There is someone here. There is someone here. Yeah, Peppers has started barking, so I'm going to pause this recording. So I'll come back, probably with my foundation done so it doesn't dry, but I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's just a couple of workmen picking up the wheelbarrow. So that's what it was. Uh, so yeah, foundation is on. I feel like it's a pretty good match, actually, for me. Um, it's decent coverage. It went on quite nicely. I don't like the pory bottle, but... All in all, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, it blended quite nicely too. I'm just putting some over my eyes because I don't have concealer today. Yeah, 
all in all, this is not bad. Okay, right. As I said, I didn't have a concealer, but I do have a powder. This powder, it's a loose powder. It's a Maybelline loose powder. Um, what did it cost me? $19.55 again from, uh, from IGA. And this is the Shine Free Loose Powder in the shade Light. They had Light versus Medium, but I got the shade Light because I could use it with my other foundations that are a little bit too dark for me, and it will hopefully lighten everything, but we'll have to see how it goes with this one. Oh, so the, you, you get a little uh, pad spongy thing. Not a fan of them. Right, let's see if I can open this without getting it everywhere oh yep it's just a loose powder and it looks very yellow okay okay let's just let's let's use this let's just see if this works and then i'll brush it away <clears throat> i don't know are you supposed to tap with this sort of thing or do you swipe like what how do you oh it's all over me excuse the paint on my shirt but I've also got lots of powder on my shirt now is it making me go yellow I feel like it might be making me go a little bit yellow let's see what it looks like when I've brushed it away okay That'll do, that'll do, no more, I'm getting covered. Uh, I need a brush. This is my e.l.f. Full, flawless face brush. I'm just going to try and brush this away. And hopefully, I'm not yellow. Am I yellow? I feel like I'm a little bit yellow now. Well, that's not what we wanted, but it's done the job. Otherwise, it's mattified my skin. It went on okay. For a loose powder, I'm not a huge fan of loose powders. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, what can you say about a powder? I don't think I liked this, but I think it was easier using this than I would like a brush. So maybe I'll I'll keep doing that, but I think it's definitely made me yellow. Um, and the lid on this is weird. Like, you've got your little cover. And you put your little spongy thing on top and you'd think you'd twist this on, but you just you just push it on. And I'm like so worried that it's gonna burst open and go everywhere. <laughs> Alright. Um what am I up to? Contour. So, like I said, I didn't get a contour bronzer product, but I did see this. Now, this is the NYX Sunkissed Radiant Finishing Powder. So I could have used this as my powder. How do you get into here? Um and I thought these sorts of shades here could work. They are shimmery and they definitely have, I don't know if you can see that actually, there is definitely a bit of colour showing up. So I'm going to try and use just these, preferably this bottom one, but you know, even this bottom corner here, try and use some of them um, as like a contour sort of thing. I'm going to use my little angled brush as well instead of my big, I've just washed my brushes too. Uh, instead of my big fan brush, because that might be... Actually, that could work. I might try the fan brush and see how it go. And I, as it's a finishing powder, I just... I don't know how it's going to... Going to look. It is working, though. Oh, wow. How much did this one cost me? Let me think. I got this one from Red Dot. Oh. Oh, the Fascinator cost me $13. And I think all of the um, all of the other like makeup products from Red Dot were all $6, except for a couple of things. Yeah, except for one lipstick, which I'll get to in a moment. That was $2. So, yeah, not bad for, for what it is. Is it working? I'm, I just feel so dry right now because the foundation was matte and the loose powder on top of that. I probably used too much. 
but I just feel so dry right now and I didn't get a setting spray. I've just realised I didn't actually get a setting spray. But the colour match to my neck isn't actually too bad. I might just pop a little bit under there. I'm definitely yellow. Am I oxidising? I might be oxidising, I'm not sure. But anyway, the, um, the finishing powder actually worked. And as you can see, you've got like a pinky colour in there as well that you could use. Oh, it's very pale. But yeah, it is a finishing powder and it's a sparkly one. So I might have to use it as a, uh, as a finishing setting powder one day in a video. So there's that. Right. Blush. Is this little dude. This is the NYX powder blush in the shade Pinched. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I didn't open it. I didn't take the seal off this one. Just my luck. There's one that I missed. Hang on. I almost got it. Where's my knife? Trusty knife is always with me. Don't stab yourself. That'll be good. We don't need any accidents. Is that going to work now? Okay, there we go. I think I've got it. Again, this was $6 from Red Dot. Okay, and it just looks like that. It is... It's got maybe a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not uh, super shimmery. So I'm going to grab my brush blush brush all of these like purple lavendery ones all these brushes are from Kmart and they're the OXX brand ones so let's give this a go see how pigmented it is oh it's actually quite subtle I love lots of blush and it definitely it shows up more in there you can definitely see the shimmer whereas in person, it's not that bad. I've just realised I don't have a highlighter either. <laughs> I did really well, didn't I, guys? Oh, I feel like I could get away with this as a highlighter anyway. Because it is quite shimmery. So I'm looking quite glowy already. I don't think there's anything that I could use as a highlighter. So I'm just going to put on lots of blush. A little bit on the end of my nose. That looks quite intense. Puts more on anyway. There we go. I'm happy. I like this. I like this brush a lot. For $6, why is my hair doing? Why have I got to sticky out a bit? Go behind my ear, I say. Uh, I give up with my hair. Right, I think I'm going to do brows next. And I've got this one. This is the Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palette. I think this, they only had it in deep brown. This is deep brown. I happen to have brown hair. Um, it looks a little like that. And it comes with this tiny little angled brush. So, I mean, should I use it? I've never used brow powder before. Okay, one of them is... Okay, no, they're all... Okay, is that wax? Okay. So, this end one is like a wax. So I think you use, I'm reading the instructions on the back, by the way, and it says to apply the wax to sculpt them. So let's try it with the little brush. Okay, it is picking it up. Oh, this brush is so small. And I only ever, um, I don't usually define my brows too much. I usually just sort of fill them in, if that makes sense. And see, for me, there's not a lot of difference. This one, it does look a lot fuller. That, for me, is all I do normally. Well, with a, with a coloured wax, that's all I would do. Oh, that was a bit messy. I will say that I keep, maybe it's just the brush, but I keep needing to dip in a lot. But I mean, I, I, I've never really used a palette like this before, but I suppose it is doing the job. Ooh. See, that's usually all I would do. But I will try all of it. I don't like the brush. Um, the only sort of angled brush I have with me is this big one. 
I might try the other end. Let's let's just keep going with the little thing, little brush. Okay, so then it says use the second angle brush to apply the powder and blend it in. Okay, so I'm going in with that middle brown shade. It looks maybe a little too dark for me, but we'll see how we go. I'm still experimenting with my eyebrows, I will say. Like, it, my eyebrows are quite, like, a almost taupey sort of colour. Yeah, see, so to me, that just looks way too bold. <whistles> I suppose it is good to try new things, though. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think the brow looks okay? I mean, I've never used powder, brow powder before, so it's probably a little messy. But... I mean, it matches my hair. It's not too dark for me. It matches my hair, but I don't know. I just don't. I don't like. I don't like the brush either. I really don't like the brush. I don't like that at all. Okay, the brush is going in the bin. Let me just grab my spoolie and see if I can fluff them up and look them, make them look a bit nicer. Oh no, I've got brow powder all over my nose. <laughs> I definitely need to clean this one up a little bit, but I just don't have any concealer in here with me. But, I don't know, what do you... I don't know if I like it. I really don't. But as a product, I mean, it seems to work quite well. It's just, I don't know if I personally like it. Okay, so it's got a little highlight colour, this one on the end here. And I'm going to use my actual brush and just highlight my brow bone a little bit. And if this works, I don't know, it doesn't seem shimmery enough to be a highlighter. Okay, it is a little bit shimmery. I might use it as a normal highlighter. Okay, a little bit of brow highlight. Where's my other brush? I'm going to grab this brush. This is another e.l.f. brush. It says it's a blending brush, but I'm, I usually use it for highlighter, like powder highlighter. And I'm just going to pop a little bit on. It's not super intense, but it's multi-purpose. There we go. Pop some on the other side. And that, well, besides concealer and setting spray and primer, technically making a full face, guys. Even though I'm a complete idiot and forgot to buy a few things so it's not showing up i hope it is let me put some little bit up here oh oh had some left over on my th on my finger there we go i don't like the brows <laughs> maybe it's just because i'm not used to them but as a product it's not bad i didn't I disliked it personally because I've never used anything like this before. But if this is your sort of thing, it definitely did work. I might use it just for the gel. Because that I was happy with how the gel looked. It was the powder that I don't like. So there's that. Did I tell you how much? Oh, it was $6. All of these were $6. Right, now I have a little eyeshadow palette. This is, again, by Maybelline, and all of these ones that I got from IGA, they looked really old. The packaging was battered. Uh, I don't know. It just seemed like it was really old. Not necessarily, like, out of date, just old. And then the red dot ones, um, they all of this was on sale, so obviously that was old as well. And, like, I picked – the nail polish I picked looks normal, right? It looks like a nail polish, but a lot of them looked – the only way I can describe it is that they looked oily, like they'd split or separated or just gone bad. So, oh, oh God, what did I, I think something just dropped on the floor. Okay, well, you get two of these, but one of them is dropped on the floor, so I will not be using this. Um, you don't get a mirror, but that's what the little palette looks like. I'm going to grab 
Where's my big blending brush? Okay, and it actually tells you um, like what color is for what. So this color up here is the base color. So I'm going to dip into some of that and use it as a base. It's not actually showing up very well. It is a really pale color. I'll give it that. And it's almost shimmery. It doesn't look shimmery in the little palette, but it's almost shimmery as you put it on. Yeah, that's just far too light for me. It's not it's not really showing up at all, but I suppose as a base colour, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, it's not a transition colour. Um, right, well, the next one, and they're actually all numbered, so you know which order to go in, but you go over here, this is a shimmery, browny sort of colour, um, and that is for the lid, so I'm going to... Actually, no, I'll use a smaller brush. I'm going to use this brush. These are my, what were they from? The Revolution Advent Calendar. So I'm going to pop some of, oh, pop some of this on my lid because that says number two. So you've got to do number two first. Well, not first, you've got to do it second, but you know what I mean. Okay. It's actually a really pretty colour. But it's not, for such a dark colour, it's not very, oh, it's not very pigmented. Like, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? I hope you can. It is, it is coming, it is working. It's just not very pigmented, but it is pretty, if you know what I mean. It's like a very natural sort of colour. Okay, right, I'm going to grab my other big flush, fluffy blending brush and I'm going to dip into this dark brown here. Um, it's like slightly shimmery and it says it's for the crease. I would do the crease first and then put the lid on because the lid is t traditionally, you know, the shimmery colour, but I suppose both of these have a shimmer, so it doesn't really matter. And again, it's very natural. They blend fairly nice, though. I didn't get a mascara. I didn't get an eyeliner. I didn't do very well at this, did I? But I didn't see those products. That's probably why I didn't buy them. I didn't see any of them. It doesn't look bad. I just don't know if I like it. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this under under here. Not really where a shimmer is supposed to go, but I feel like I need to put something there. I don't know. They are pretty colours. They blend fairly well. It's just, I'm, I don't know how well you can see it, but in person, it's all shimmer. It is all shimmer. Can you... I don't know if you guys can, will be able to see it. It is very subtle, but they're all shimmers. Um, right, and then we've got this... Um, I was going to say matte, but it looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. This says it's a liner. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of liner. I'm going to grab this little brush, I think, and just try and... I've never used powder. Oh, have I used powder as a liner? I don't know. But I'm just going to... I don't know if this is right, but I'm just going to put it where you would normally put liquid liner, I suppose. Oh, it's a bit of fallout actually with this one. I just got some in my eye. See, I'd use this colour because it's almost matte. I use that as like a deepening in the crease, I suppose. I don't know if I'm doing this right at all. And it doesn't, sh it's not, <sighs> this isn't going very well. Oh, it's not that dissimilar from the lid colour, except it's a little bit more matte.
I've never done like flicks or anything like that before, so that was a first attempt. <laughs> right, okay, I'm right. It did work, I just didn't like it. I think I'm going to throw that straight in the bin. I don't see myself using that at all. I can't give it away to anyone, so straight in the bin. Right, lips. I have a lip liner. This is a L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner and Sharpener. Oh, okay. Um, it's in the shade Forever Rose, so I'm going to give that a go. I've been trying to use lip liners more often to get more practice. And I find with me, if I've got, so I'm right-handed, if I've got my elbow, my right elbow on like a table or a surface, I find I'm able to be a little bit more precise. Oh, that's not the colour I was expecting at all. In On the end there, it looks like a nice like brown, nudie brown sort of colour, but coming out, it's more of a nudie sort of colour. I don't know if my lipstick's going to match this now. Oh, can you see that? That's powder. I still have powder on my hand. I suppose it could have been the eyeshadow. But this is quite a nice lip liner. It's like a crowny one. You like twist it to get more product out. I think that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it's <coughs> Sorry, it's creamy. I really don't like this powder, the powder, the all over finishing powder that I put on. You'd have to put on a hydrating setting spray or hydrating primer because I feel so cakey. I probably put too much on, but I just I feel so gross and cakey right now. Okay. That's actually a really nice lip liner. Um it went on really nicely. It's creamy. What else can I say? These are the two lipsticks that I got. I thought it was going to be closer to this colour. This is a Maybelline Vivid Matte Lipstick uh, in the shade Corrupt Cranberry. Let's just have a look at it and give it a little swatch. Oh, okay. Wow. I thought it was a brownier colour. It's definitely... a Maybelline lipsticks usually smell really good. That smells vile. Ugh. Um, yeah, anyway, that's the colour. I don't think it's going to match the lip liner. But I do have this one. This one was $2. Let me just take the sticker off. And all I can see on it is Ultra 3. And this is in the shade Rush. Okay, this might work. It's not going to be an exact match for the liner because, I, like I said, I thought the liner was a lot uh, browner, but. I can't decide if that smells nice or not. Actually, it's a pretty good match for the liner. But it's almost too creamy. Like, it's almost slippery, creamy, creamy. Um... I feel like I've made such a mess even though I used the liner. But I like the colour. I don't think it's a matte lipstick. I much prefer a matte lipstick, but that's just me. Um, otherwise, for $2, you can't complain, can you? I look like a bit of a mess. I, I really look like, oh, the eyes. And the, uh, nah, this was a big fail for me, guys. Um... I didn't see all of the products, so I completely forgot to get anything like highlighter, blah, blah, blah. It was almost a full face. Is it worth it? I, I feel like it dep obviously depends on what you like. But if, if you're just starting to play around with makeup, you don't want to spend a lot of money, absolutely go for it. Great value for money. Uh, you know do it like that but for someone who's a little bit more experienced or you want really good quality products or I don't know like it just it's not great it's really not great and I, look for the price I'm like yeah no it's great but at the same time I'm like 
it's not it's really not great but anyway that's my video for today hopefully by Thursday uh, my mystery box will be here or the last advent calendar will be here um, if you have any suggestions if they're not here but you have an idea of what you would like me to do that I can just do like a challenge or something like that pop it in the comments below like and subscribe as always um, and I will do that on Thursday if my mystery boxes and stuff aren't here. If not, I'll save it for a later date. Um, yeah, a bit of a mess today, guys. I do apologize about that. But thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.